Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn about assertions in JMeter. So we are going to go very basic step by step and we will learn assertions from scratch and we will see what are assertions, how to add assertions and different types of assertions in JMeter. So let's get started and you can see I have my JMeter open on my Windows system. Even if you are using a Mac system, you can get your JMeter up and here Assertions in JMeter or assertions in general are the validations or these are the checks that we do and these checks we can do for various things for example we can do a check on the response on the value on the size on the format on the duration like the duration of the response and so on. So we can use assertions for various checks or validations and there are different types of assertions in JMeter. So let us see how to add assertions and the different types of assertions. So here I have my JMeter up and you can see we have a test plan here. I'm just going to do a right click on the test plan and the very first thing that I'm going to do is add a thread group. So I'm going to add a thread group here and let me just do it again and here I'm just going to use a single user and now inside the thread group I'm going to add a sampler so I will add a simple HTTP request and here I can add any web page or any HTTP request so I'm just going to go to my blog that is lifecharger.org and here I will go to some particular page. Let me go to this formula to find your passion. And yes, this is the page. I'm just going to copy the URL and I will add the URL here in the server name or IP. I will just add it here. Now this HTTP will go in the protocol. So I should be adding this here and in case it is HTTP you can leave it blank and if it is HTTPS you have to add it here and then the rest of the uh, path I will cut from here and I will add it in the path field and that's it so I have a very simple HTTP request and let me also add a listener to see the result I will say add listener I will add view results in tree and I will just run this and it is, it is asking if you I want to save this I will just save this and run this and you can see everything is fine I am getting a sampler result this is my request and then the response here so this is running fine now we can start adding our assertions so I will again do a right click on the thread group and I will go to add I will go to Assertions. So assertions you can add at multiple levels as of now I am adding it at a thread group level So as I go to assertions you can see we have so many assertions we have response, JSON, size, uh, JSR223 which is a script assertion We have XPath, compare, duration, HTML, MD5, hex, S, MIME assertion, XML, XML, schema and bean shell So we are going to see all of these assertions one by one the first one is response assertion. So let me add this response assertion and I will also add this here. The first one we are going to see is a response assertion. Here are some uh, links as well that will be very useful. I will provide these links to you and all these notes will be available to you. So let us see response assertion. So response assertion, if you click here, I will just take it up and you can see this is the editor for response assertion and this is a very simple assertion and as the name suggests it acts on the response now you have options if you want to uh, apply to the main samples and sub samples main sample only sub samples only or any JMeter variable so in our case we are going to go with main sample only and then field to test whether you want to test the text response the response code the response message response headers request headers uh, URL sampled and so on so I am going to select response code and then pattern matching 
whether we want to check contains matches equals and so on so I'm going to go with equals and here I have to give the pattern so I will go to add and I will say I want to check the response code is 200 which is a successful HTTP response so here I will just save this and run this and you can see this is the run and everything is passed so that means our session is passed just to check what will happen if our session fails I will go back to the response session and instead of 201 I will say instead of 200 I will say 201 so this time this should fail and we can actually also add a listener called assertion listener so we have a listener called assertion results listener here so that it will show us the results of the assertion only so let me just go and quickly add this listener called assertion results listener and now I will clean everything and run this again and this time you can see it failed and if you expand this you can see this failed due to response assertion and it received 200 but the comparison was made or expected was 201 so that is why it failed and if you go to assertion results listener it will show you the same thing so this is response assertion let me make it back to 200 and the second assertion we have is I will again do a right click add assertion and we have a JSON assertion so the second assertion we are going to see is JSON assertion now as the name suggests it works on the JSON response let me take this up here and here you can see we can assert a JSON path and then we can check our expected value from that path so for that what I will do is I need to have some uh, web service or some request which will give me a JSON response so I'm going to go to Google and search for let me search for some sample API or REST API for testing which can give me a JSON response and here I have this uh, website REQRES I will go here and I will also make this available in the notes and here you can see this has some sample or fake APIs that I can use for testing and you can see we have get uh, HTTP get, HTTP post, put deletes etc and let me get this very simple single user API that gets me or fetches the response of a user so this is the URL or this is the IP I will copy this and I will go to my JMeter add a new sampler HTTP request and here I am going to say this is a JSON request actually it is a, a REST API request or a web service request but just for easy understanding I am saying this is a JSON request and yes here I am going to put this REQRES in the IP and because this is HTTPS I will put HTTPS in the protocol and then this is the rest of the path which I will put here in the path and that should be it this is HTTP get so I already have get here uh, now what I can do is now you can see this JSON assertion is available at the thread group level so it will be implemented on all the samplers which are at the thread group level however I do not want this I just want it for the JSON request so I will drag it and drop it inside my JSON request and now you can see it is now only a part of this JSON request so it will work only on this sampler and not on any other sampler so let me first uh, just run this and see the results I will clear everything and run this and you can see HTTP request is passed and JSON request failed because our uh, JSON assertion failed and let me just check the request here so here yeah this is JSON so there is some issue we are not getting the okay so we have this data let me just check it manually I will go to a new tab and put this URL and also put this path here 
and hit enter and let me see if I'm getting a response. Yes, I'm getting a response here. Okay, I think uh, this was a mistake. This is reqres.in, which I made a mistake in my JSON request. So that was my mistake. This is reqres.in. And let us again try to run this. And yes, if I see the request, so you can see the response has the request has got the response which is fine the reason it has failed is because of the json assertion and we have not yet put anything in the json assertion so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a xpath and fetch some value so this is the json message or response i'm going to take it copy this and now uh, to check this i can say some json beautifier or some json formatter online uh, you can see this is JSON viewer and JSON beautifier online. I will go here and put my JSON message here. So I will put it here and I will say beautify and you can see this is what our actual response is. It is a user data. It gives us the ID of the user, first name, last name and avatar. So we have to work on this JSON. Now to get a JSON path, you can uh, get online help. And there are some websites like jsonfinder.com, jsonpathfinder.com. I will just copy the URL and also make it available here. And here you can see we can just put our JSON here. So I will copy my JSON message and put it here. And here you can see it has uh, given us all the elements and whatever uh, element we want we can just click there and you can see the path is generated so this is the path you can also get some uh, chrome plugins for example this is a chrome plugin json pathfinder you can get it like you can go to apps and web store and search for json pathfinder and you will get it and if you click on this json pathfinder again you can put your json here and then give the element or node that you want to search for or create a xpath for and then say submit and you can see you will get the json path for that so this is what i'm going to copy here and the value is janet right so i'm going to put it here in the json assertion i'm going to put it here the path and now i will say additionally assert value and the expected value i'm saying is janet you can also select expect null if you uh, expect that this path should not return or expect any value and then you can also invert the assertion so now i will save this and clear all the data and run this again and let us see now and you can see it passed this time if i make any changes in the json assertion let us say i say i am uh, expecting janet one this time this should fail so I will run this again and you can see this failed and the reason is the JSON assertion value expected to match was Janet1 but did not match Janet so that's why there is a failure so I'm just going to make it back to Janet and that's it so this was JSON assertion now the next assertion we are going to see is if I go to add assertions this is size assertion so as the name suggests it works on the size so if I add this size assertion now I will again add this size assertion and bring it up yes so this is our size assertion and also let me write down here so the next one is size assertion so you can see the size assertion we can apply to main sample sub samples main sample only sub samples only and variables and then the field to test can be full response response headers response body response code and response message so i'm going to uh, use it for for full response and here you can uh, select or give the size to assert so for example i say 1000 it is in bytes so this is here i can select the type of comparison if i want to uh, check the response size is 
exactly equal to 1000 bytes or not equal to or greater than or less than or greater than equal to or less than equal to so let me just select less than equal to now and go to my view results tree save everything and run this again and you can see this time our JSON request passed because the size in bytes for the JSON request was 672 which was less than 1000 bytes which is fine however if I go to our HTTP request here the size assertion failed and you can see the message the result was wrong size it was 41,917 bytes but should have been less than or equals to 1000 bytes so that is why it failed so this is how you can uh, put a assertion on your size and this will be very useful while you are working with JMeter you might want to put this assertion on your sample so that when you get any new build and there is some problem uh, and you are getting some huge sizes this assertion will directly pick that uh, failure up and show you the failure so that you can troubleshoot and correct it so for now I'm just going to make this to let us say 50,000 so that our both requests pass and I will run it again and this time everything is passed so this is fine now the next session so I will right click on thread group add assertions and then we have JSR 223 assertion so now this assertion is a script assertion as you can see and this is JSR 223 JSR stands for Java specification request and here you can see this is a script assertion uh, you can use Groovy Java uh, JavaScript and all this to create the scripts and then you can also add some parameters you if you have your script in a file you can also browse the file or you can put your script here so here you can uh, give any script so script assertions in JMeter will be useful if you want to do some very custom checks and you cannot do those checks with any of the inbuilt assertions at that time you can use any of the script assertions so JSR 223 is one of the script assertions and here uh, if I just write a simple quote I will say let us say I will say if and in the brackets I'll just say uh, true so that it always passes and then curly braces start and curly braces stop and let us say I will say assertion result so this has assertion results and I will say dot set failure and I want to set the failure to true so this will show as failure failed assertion and then I will say assertion result dot set failure message and I can give any message here so I will just say I will say backslash and backslash and to go to the next line and I will say this script assertion failed and I will again say backslash and backslash and to go to the next line so if you see I have just put a simple script and I am saying if and I have written true so that it will always be true and go inside this block if block and I am just putting the assertion I am setting the assertion failure to true so this will fail it and then I am putting a custom message and just to check this I will just save this and try to run this again clear everything and run this and you can see this time it is showing both the uh, samplers or request has failed because the JSR223 assertion is put at the thread level and it is applicable to both the requests and if I go and expand you can see this assertion failed and the assertion messages the script assertion failed that I have given same thing you will find here as well the same assertion failure and message so this is something that you can use in case of some very custom assertions or check and you can make use of these script assertions for now I will just disable it so that it does not fail our requests and I will clear everything and run again so now everything is passed and then we have a lot of a lot more assertions so we have xpath compare and so on so I'm going to uh, stop this video for now so this will be part one and we will continue with rest of the sessions in part two of this video so I hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching